lot of people ask me, you know, what's, what's the trick to teaching? And I said, you just have to believe. Um, and a lot of people don't. They look at these kids and don't believe they have the potential. Um, that don't believe that they can achieve or whatever it might be. Um, and I guess I do. I really do believe that. You know, kids, I guess there's just a lot of potential. It's always there, you know, as an adult, and you've already kind of chosen a path, or maybe the path has chosen you, or um, made a lot of mistakes that you maybe can't come back from, or I don't know, whatever it might be. But as a kid, you know, you're still fresh. You still you can still do anything, you know, be president or be doctors or whatever it might be, you know. I mean, you're, 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 your life is unwritten. This is kind of like a ladder, right? Yes. These are like the edges of the ladder, and this is like the steps or the rungs of the ladder. You know, there's a lot of trust and faith put into what you do. I mean, if you look in that fifth period, 20% of that class is former brothers and sisters, and you know, the, the parents said, you know, it's no choice. My kids, you know, it's, I'm, I get invited to family barbecues and stuff. I mean, it, it's an honor. I'm a friend of the family and, and respected and not like, you know, not like a hourly wage slave type of person. Yeah, it's like, oh, is that the game one? Oh, yeah, like, what's around the room? I didn't really like science, but when I had him this year, like, he made it fun and interesting. He makes, like, fun with learning. Yeah, let me see. You gotta, like, like you're doing, like you're cooking a little bit, you know? Yeah, so here's how you make it. You get your little souffle cup, and you pour a little borax in there, mixy-mixy, until you get the right consistency. Any questions? They don't really need that much help from me. Um, there's, there's problem spots, and if you can pick that spot and get them past it and stuff, they'll be fine. But when they get to be seniors, if they're good enough, they can ask questions that, you know, I don't know the answer to, and it's kind of fun to, to find it, to find it together. Anytime I have a question, I can come in during lunch, after school, anytime he's available, and he'll, like, really thoroughly explain what he's teaching, or, like, what the lesson is, and, like, how to... It will really help me on the test. But it's a varying solution. Well, right? no, it's a complex um, solution. There's varying factors. You know, not every kid's perfect. There are some that just really aren't going to be nice people already. But you still got to try. Um, but for every one of those, there's, there's 10, 20 kids that are just good kids serving their time and one or two great kids that are going to do, you know, who knows what, you know. I've taught over 3,500 kids all over Southern California in the last 13 years, and I've had a lot of them come back and say, yeah, you know, I mean, you, you know, you, <laughs> you didn't teach university chemistry, but when I got to university chemistry, I knew what I needed to know to, to survive. These kids are grateful in, in a way that, in a, in a way that they don't always show because they're children, you know, kids aren't going to say thanks every time. Some of them are. Some of them are really just great kids. But most of them are good kids, and even if they don't come up and shake your hand and give you a hug, they, they appreciate it. And, and, you know, I mean, the majority won't be chemists or even engineers or scientists or doctors, but for those that are and will, I feel like I serve my part or, you know, help them get what they needed out of high school chemistry to be successful.